The RGP's appeal follows yesterday's serious traffic accident and the results of its continued roadwatch campaign, which show high speeding figures. Over 4,000 people reported over the summer months, with a further 112 only last week. It believes, despite its continued efforts, there's a lot of bad driving on our roads. Um, we are concerned because we continuously uh, operate Operation Roadwatch throughout the course of the year. Uh, we are reporting people for process during the course of this operation. We're trying to educate people, we're trying to instill awareness, but at times we feel that we're hitting a, a, a brick wall. But are you satisfied that the RGP is doing enough? Shouldn't you perhaps be targeting those problem areas, hotspots, more efficiently? We are, we are policing those hotspots, and that's a very good question. Uh, our officers are tirelessly out in areas such as Devil Star Road, uh, Rosier Road where we're on today, uh, Winston Churchill Avenue, where, where people do uh, go above the speed limit. Um, what's wrong is that people have an element of responsibility here, and if we find that people aren't uh, um, reducing their speed, uh, well, you know, then these things will happen. Um, we have to educate people more, we have to instill more awareness, um, but the public have a big factor to play here too. You say the police is doing its best, so why then do we continue to see so many people being arrested on speeding offences and so many accidents on our roads? Well, it's bad driving, and it's just sheerly that bad driving. People drive in Gibraltar from A to B, and they don't they they, they, they don't take into consideration the other people, other road users um, that are on the road. Um, you know, we find that people don't indicate. Uh, you know, motorcyclists overtaking on the wrong side of the road, and this is continuously happening. Uh, and it is a tireless campaign. But you know, the Road Gibraltar Police is committed to this campaign, and we will continue to look for new ideas and new innovations. I mean, uh, we're going into the Christmas period now, uh, we will be extending our road watch campaign and our drink driving campaign. So, you know, people will uh, see us out there in numbers. The RGP says it takes the matter very seriously and confirms it's working closely with the government to introduce new tools to help improve the situation. Uh, the pointer system has been part of our campaign for many, many years uh, and I'm glad to say that there is progress. But obviously, like everything, it, it, it takes time to implement a good, uh, robust system. What about introducing speed bumps and fixed cameras in these problem areas? Do you think it'll go a certain way in reducing the number of accidents? That happens. Uh, our officers, our traffic officers, continuously meet with um, the Ministry of Transport to look at ways of reducing the speed uh, that people travel on our roads. Speed bumps is another another uh, tool that, is, that we can use. But we must remember that this traffic accident that we saw this weekend was a, a traffic accident for, you know, for your viewers who, who have been down there and seen the actual uh, damage that had been caused. It was one about speed. It was all about speed. And um, you know, if other people would have been on, on that footpath um, on that day in question, it would have been a weekday where a lot of uh, uh, cross-frontier workers uh, use that area, we could have uh, seen quite a few fatalities. Thankfully, uh, that uh, w was not the case. What we do have is two young men critically ill in hospital. With awareness and education top priorities, the RGP says it's committed to its varied campaigns throughout the year. Its message, though, is a clear one. Kill your speed and drive responsibly with due consideration for others.